What is going on, buddy? Welcome back here today to probably my favorite challenge to do in my league, and that is building a roster where every player has to be above an 80 overall. So I've done this challenge a few times in the past, and it's pretty simple. I just got to make trades in three years um, or just one other offseason for this and have a team where at least all nine players that are playing are 80 overall or higher. But if I could get 12, then that is a dub as well. So my goal for today is to have 12 players 80 or above. So we are using probably the team with the most assets in the league. It used to be the Sixers. Then it was the Boston Celtics. Now it is the New Orleans Pelicans. New Orleans Pelicans. So if you guys enjoy these challenges, let's see if we can maybe hit 3,000 likes on this video. You guys have been killing like just the support lately and i can't say thank you enough it really means a lot and we're not even at free agency yet so we are here today with the pelicans now the amount of guys on this team that will hit 80 overall let's see we have one two three four five holiday six but i'm definitely gonna be trading drew holiday also a lot of people are asking me how do i already have the rookies on this roster so what i did is i had this start today save a while ago i probably did this start today save a month ago and then you turn off auto save here in my league settings you turn off auto save you save it manually in the save as option and you only save it when you like when something happens so like i went through the draft uh, lottery i traded every pick i went through every team got them their correct pick went through the draft drafted everybody to their correct team and now i have the save to boot up whatever i want so that is how i did that there's no special roster to download there is rosters you could download but you're not going to get it from the off season it is going to be the start from the regular season so we are here today options randall is definitely somebody we okay okafor could probably hit an 80 so we could he might have some value so i'll keep him um and we'll keep christian wood randall declines his player option obviously he's a really nice piece so i could try to bring him back now drew holiday probably gonna move on from him and brendan ingram brendan ingram because he's a restricted free agent next year and he's gonna cost a lot of money drew holiday is gonna start regressing even though he'll probably be an 80 plus throughout this video i could probably get 280 overalls for half the price so i'm gonna look for that here um so thompson and sexton sexton would be a nice pickup but i don't want tristan thompson baysmore and collins i do have to move baysmore to the uh the uh blazers now i know to do that bodanovich and healed is nice but they're both gonna hit restricted free agency neil kina and knox i mean knox could definitely hit 80 but i doubt neil kina will anytime soon kuzma isaac and bomba that's actually a nice one i might do that trade uh karuks and allen is nice porter jr is nice but plumley eh uh drummond okay so i think i'm gonna do wiggins nurkic okay hachimura i'm gonna pick up uh isaac and bomba who i think could both hit 80 overall right away or not right away but bomba could definitely hit it by the end of next year and isaac in a year or two um about, about making 10 mil combined so i'm saving 15 mil with that trade okay so qualifying offer stanley johnson no but check the yellow who's a 76 overall sure so uh, like I said, I think I'm going to move Brandon Ingram as well, just because, like I said, he's going to cost me 25 mil next offseason. So, um, I'm definitely going to look to trade him while he still has value if I can get two 80 overalls, future 80 overalls for him. Like, Shaman and Harrell is nice, but Harrell is a free agent next year. John Moran! I might just do that trade in general. Damn, Monk and Bridges, Kyle Guy and Bogdanovich, Robinson is nice, and Knox, that's also a really nice trade. Fultz, cheaper option, but he's still making a a lot of money will vert but he's a free agent next year porter jr all right i'm getting some nice offers here uh i did move tj warren to the pacers as you can see but okay so now's your little all right i'm tempted by getting either john morant or getting knox and robinson huh. you know i think john morant is too good to pass up on so we're gonna do that we are gonna give up okafor and get kyle anderson back hopefully we can use kyle anderson to trade so we might have two max slots no we just have one so if i'm trying to get one guy um i think whoever i sign i might end up trading for 280 overalls if we're being honest so i'm gonna offer big deals to Kawhi, but might move Kawhi. um we'll offer a deal to butler as like plan c and then we'll give uh hmm, i mean we'll give kyrie irving a deal i don't know if he would sign with us so we'll see do we get anybody we get jimmy butler okay so like i said um oh i don't no i, re I have to read out the rights on um Julius randall that's a shame so so yeah we are gonna sign jimmy butler like i said uh but i am gonna move him okay Kawhi goes back to the raptors and Kyrie goes back to the celtics uh did Julius randall get signed yet he did who'd he sign with uh Julius randall signed with the phoenix suns all right good for him so we're gonna sign jimmy butler like i said but i'm gonna trade jimmy butler like i said try to get 280 overalls for him 
or future 80 overalls or nice contracts. Porter and Carter. Carter is a nice pickup. Porter, eh. If I could get Kobe White and Carter, that would be pretty nice. Uh, yeah, they can't afford that. Randall and Bridges, not bad. So I'm actually going to do this trade with the Orlando Magic. We're going to be getting Aaron Gordon and Markel Fultz now. I don't know if I should keep Fultz because we do already have two point guards in Morant and Lonzo. So we could use another two. We could use, yeah, we could definitely use a small forward or a, actually, I'm going to move Zion to um, small forward real quick because we'll probably play Aaron Gordon at the four. Okay, so I'm going to keep Fultz for now. I could always trade him next offseason. So I'm pretty, I think I'm done with this team. We have one, two, three possible 80s. Uh, four, I don't know if Hart will ever get there, so we'll say four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we're ready. Uh, we're done with this offseason. Unless I have another max slot here. No, we don't have that much money. What about a Ennis Canner can I get? Maybe? No, he doesn't want to be a Pelican. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to get another guy that I could end up using as, tr like, who has trade value. Like, Terrence Ross. We'll give a three-year deal, too. And do we get him? Oh, okay. He goes to the Lakers. Okay, I'm going to end up trying to sign Ricky Rubio. I know we don't need another point guard, but Rubio, you know what? C does have some trade value. Okay, now I'm kind of tempted. What could I get for Markel Fultz and Ricky Rubio? Okay, so I'm actually going to do this trade with the uh, Clippers. We're going to be picking up Montrez Harrell and Rodney Magruder. We'll also have to throw a second round pick in there. All right, so I do have two on top potentials. We will send um, definitely guys that I don't know if we'll hit it right away. So definitely Isaac. Like, I'm not going to send it to Zion or Jackson Hayes. Ah, we could send it to Jackson Hayes, actually. We'll send it to, like, Josh Hart. Because if Josh Hart can sneak to an 80 overall, that'd be nice. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do here is... I I'm going to send Josh Hart and Jonathan Isaac to the G League. That, like, the G League here is going to be huge for us. All right, so here's how the minutes are going to go. We got 31 to Ja, 30 to um, NAW, Naw. Um, we're going to give 35 to Williams, and I don't know why I nicknamed that. Uh, 34 to Aaron Gordon, 30 to Harold, 28 to Bamba, 23 to Ball, 21 to Hayes, and then 8 to Kyle Anderson. We'll do no scoring options. Alvin Gentry's pace and space is 3.5 stars. So not bad for this uh, season whatsoever. But Zion, we definitely could make the playoffs. But we have our first. We have, I believe, the Cavs first, which is top 10 protected. And we have... Um, like a bunch of Lakers picks later on. So yeah, that'll be for me. I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. And let's just hope these guys develop. All right, guys. So we end season number one with a 50 and 32 record, which is very good in season number one. I'm still going to try to win a championship um, alongside with the everybody getting 80 overall um, type. So Zion Williamson gets rookie of the year, which is very nice. So bonus six man of the year. I don't see that a lot. So that's cool to see. Jimmy Butler most improved. Uh, he's not, yeah, now in the magic. And then Steve Kerr coach of the year. Um, I will maybe get Zion here. Yeah, we do get Zion. And does he get an all defensive team? No. Uh, ja and Zion an all rookie first team. And we do get um, Alexander Walker an all rookie second team. So we are a four seed in the Western Conference taking on the Utah Jazz in round one. Also, Woj just tweeted out a little bit ago that KD opted out. He's going to be an unrestricted free agent. Um, obviously, I'm hoping he becomes a Nick. Uh, I hope he just leaves Golden State. I really don't want to see him back, even though Golden State won't be good next year because he and Clay might not play. Uh, so that's fine. I just really don't want him to go to the Nets. Um, I mean, him going to the Nets would be crazy good for them. Um, obviously, it's just a Nick fan of me. It would hurt a lot. And my reaction video to Kevin Durant signing will happen. So I'm hoping it's me in excitement, not me uh, being salty and upset. So uh, Zion, 21 and 9.5. And um great season john morant 21 and seven and a half uh aaron gordon 16 points a game six and a half rebounds three and a half assists uh there's harrell not bad stuff he'll be uh unrestricted free agent i believe and then there's alexander walker jackson hayes bomba lonzo and then we can check out to see what isaac and hart went up to so hart is going to be an 81 there that's not that problem and isaac will be an 83 so round one here gets the utah jazz obviously they got mike conley donovan mitchell and reigning defensive player of the year uh two time back-to-back -back defensive player of the year in rudy gobert so we do win game one we lose game two can we win game three there we go i don't know if the warriors re-signed kd i'm sure they re-signed clay so we'll check that out if we were to beat utah don't blow a 3-1 lead thank you we end up beating them in seven and golden state beats minnesota in seven and yeah they run it back nice all right uh everybody but cousin so i'm expecting to lose um, maybe in six. Okay, and we're up two nothing. Okay, we're up three nothing. And the Pelicans can go to the Western Conference Finals in year one. Don't blow with three only. Yes, we're in the Western Conference Finals. Okay, there's a really good chance we could go to the NBA Finals. I think we should be fine against Portland if we were able to kind of dominate that Warriors team. Even though now we're down 2-0. All right, two to one, please. Don't go down three to one. Two to two. Three to two. Also, let's win in six. Yes, and we are taking on the reigning champion. 
Toronto Raptors who did run it back as well. So we'll see how this goes. Game one, we do win. All right, dude, Zion and Ja on the same team is just so OP. Ja in the playoffs, 21 and almost nine. Zion in the playoffs, about 20 and eight. So pretty good stuff from them, from that duo. Now we're up 2-0, wow. We win both games on the road in Toronto. Game three, okay, we do lose this one at home. Can we go up three to one? Don't want them tied up. Don't want them. All right. Well, every time, every road team has won so far. Game five, don't go down three to two. Oh my God. No way. No way. Okay. Game seven in Toronto. Please do not get blown out. That's all I ask. Do not get blown out. And we're going to get blown out. Damn it. So the Raptors win it all. And Kawhi Leonard is your finals MVP. Hurts not winning there in year one, but hey, it's okay. I'm definitely confident we can make it back next year so draft lottery coming up i don't know if we'll have any picks here in the lottery uh it's not looking like it'll happen actually we will have the Cavs pick because it is not top 10 which is nice so we are going to end up with the 15th pick so the best possible non-lottery pick which is nice uh we are also going to end up with pick 23 in this draft sweet so staff signing alvin gentry i'm actually going to fire um i'm just going to hire mike stoffer if i can um and if i could fire darren bishop and pick up sean navarro that'd be sweet i don't know if we have the budget uh, and okay, Stoffer didn't accept that. Nice. Uh, because Jetsy's ratings weren't that good. So, all for Stoffer deal and I'll all for Oliver Gordon a deal. Um, so we are going to get Stoffer very nice. Um, Barty Rowe is not a bad assistant. Um, so we'll pick up. Wow, Dirk's actually got. Oh, he's not interested. Damn. All right. So let's go to the NBA draft where I might try to move up in the draft. Uh, let's see. I mean, uh, Kyle Anderson. What could I get for Kyle Anderson? 15 and 23 in this draft. I wonder if I can move up into the top 10. Wow, I could get 280s right there. Okay, I'm going to try to get pick eight for 15, 23, three seconds in Kyle Anderson and pick up an 80 in Zubots. And we do get that. So we just land another 80 overall plus the eighth pick in the draft. So we have so many centers. Damn. Uh, so I'll see you guys over here signings with who I take. Okay, so I did draft a point guard and it told me he was an 80 overall. Please tell me you weren't lying to me, 2K. Oh, they were. And he was 100% scouted too. So we take Theo Maladin. He'll be a 78 overall. So, you know what? Not bad there. We are definitely going to pick up the option on Isaac. So, free agency. Uh, we'll probably have no money, I think, regardless. And then we would want to bring back Harrell. Actually, we might have enough to get somebody better than Harrell. Um, but is there even... If we're not going to get AD... Um, I mean, Siakam, we could... True. Nah, we'll just bring back Matras Harrell. Um, so, we'll offer him that. Hopefully, he accepts that. That was actually kind of a low ball. Okay, we, we do get him back. Um... Etwan Moore, sure, will offer. Maybe it could be a throw-in. So we do get Etwan Moore and Montrez Harrell back. Very nice. I With so many centers on the roster as it is, I might be trading Montrez Harrell. So let's look at our team right now. So we have one, two, possibly three. So we'll say three. Four, five. Mm, yeah, five. Six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, that was the goal to get 12. So I want to see if I can move Montrez Harrell for possibly 280 overalls. I don't care if they're role players. I don't care if they're bench warmers. As long as they're 80 overalls. Uh, this is close, but am I really banking on a Linux uh, becoming an 80? Probably not, but I could always flip them. Um, Spencer Dinwiddie is pretty nice. Okay, you know what? I'm going to pick up Spencer. Eh, do I want Dinwiddie? You know, we'll just pick up... Uh, don't work. I can pick up just Brogdon. I uh, will pick up Malcolm Brogdon. Uh, we do have to throw in that Lakers first, which is okay. So now let me throw in. Let's see here. Alexander Walker. Um. No wait. Uh. Let's see if I can throw in more Reed and our first next year. Can that pick me up an 80 overall? Because if that if that can. Oh damn. Uh. What about that first? Come on. Okay. Does one of them have a? A no trade clause? Oh, Mort. How does Mort have a no trade clause? I didn't offer him a no trade clause. That's so stupid. Okay, so I'm going to trade two first and Willie Reed for Kevin Porter Jr. and a uh, swap with the Cavaliers. So right now, let's see how many guys we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, we're at 13. I'm going to bank on at least hopefully 12 hit 80 by next year. And I will definitely, I, we should have three training camps or three untapped potentials, I should say. So I'm definitely going to be sending them there. All right. So untapped potential, we have three of them. Now I do want to send it to God. Why did Zubots go down? Damn it. All right. So I think I definitely got to send it to Kevin Porter Jr. Um, He might be in the G League this year. I don't know. Zubots, I don't know why he went down. So let's get him up. And then I'm confident Hayes will hit an 80 this year. So I'll send it to Maladin. Um, so I might be playing those guys a lot, just, or at least definitely playing those guys because I do need them to hit an 80 overall. So let's just see what the CPU wants the rotation to be. So Morant, Brogdon, Zion, Gordon, Bamba, Ball, Walker, Isaac, Zubats, Hayes, Hart. 
I'm cool with that, but I feel like Malda needs minutes. I'm going to send Kevin Porter Jr. to the G League uh, for this year. Um, and then hopefully his base overall will be higher than 80, kind of like how Josh Hartz is. And I do want to find some minutes for um, Theo Malden real quick. So I'm going to just lower these um, just a tad. And we'll give um, we'll give eight minutes to or nine minutes to Theo Malden. Actually, we'll give him 10. So we're going to roll a 12-man rotation out there. Our preseason power ranking is number one on NBA.com. 2K Sports is 15 and number one on Mark Spears. Our assistant proficiency is three and a half stars. Uh, we'll actually go to uh, seven seconds, so it's four. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year, and let's hope we can win a chip. All right, guys, so we end the season with a 68 and 14 record. We are probably on our way to hopefully going to the finals. Well, Melo Ball Rookie of the Year in Memphis. I forgot who I got. Maybe they had Brandon Ingram. I forgot who I traded for John Moran. Um, Dennis Schroeder, six man of the year in Washington, obviously probably behind John Wall. Anthony Davis, defensive player of the year. Michael Porter Jr., most improved. Mike Stauffer, coach of the year. Let's go. So since we're so stacked, we get no Pelicans here on the All-NBA teams, which is fine by me. No Zion and all defensive team. Okay. And then all rookie team. The only person would be Theo Maladin, which did not make it. So we got nobody on the awards, but we are a one seed in the Western Conference. Very nice to see. So we can check out these stats. I think it said we were taking on OKC in round one. So Zion leading score, followed by John Morant, Aaron Gordon, uh, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Malcolm Brogdon, Mo Bamba, Zubats, Hayes, Lonzo, Isaac, Theo Mount, and Josh Hart. So here we go. Here's the uh, final tally on the 80 overalls. So we have one in Zion, two in Moran, three in Isaac, four in Bamba, five in Brogdon, six in Lonzo, seven in Josh Hart, eight in Aaron Gordon. So we're at eight. Nine in Nickel Alexander Walker, ten in Zubots, eleven in Jackson Hayes, twelve in Theo Maladin, twelve eighty overalls, and Kevin Porter Jr. would be an eighty plus next year, so that would have been thirteen. Crazy stuff there, crazy, crazy, crazy. So I ended with thirteen eighty pluses. I'm very happy. Now uh, we could show you guys the player stats. Actually, did I already do that? I kind of already did that. Um, so here we go. Um, and then we can check out the team stats, points per game, third, allowed, first, point differential, first. We are having like a 12-man rotation, but if we are struggling, I will switch back to like a nine. Uh, we are going up against Russell Westbrook, Gary Harris, George. Looks like they might have traded Adams for Harris. Don't know why Denver would have did that, but hey. We won 27 more games than OKC, so I'm hoping we can win in four or five. Nothing more, and we do sweep them. So we're moving on to the next round to face the... Houston Rockets. Yep, they do beat the LA Lakers. Do they still have Anthony Davis? They do, and they signed Kemba. Damn. Uh, so we're taking all the Rockets who have Chris Paul, Harden, Whitney, uh, Bielitsa, Capella, Austin Rivers. Okay, so let's simulate this current round. Uh, let's hope they don't really win more than one, and it's tied 1-1. We're up 2-1. Can we win? go up 3-1? There we go. Let's win in five, and we're moving on to the Western Conference Finals to take on the Minnesota Timberwolves. All right, so the Timberwolves have Colin Sexton. All right, interesting. They traded for him. Uh, Jared Culver, oh my God, did they actually trade Wiggins for Colin Sexton? No way. Uh, they traded Rocco for Bobby Porter's. Interesting trade there. Um, yep, Wiggins and Killin' Tilly for Sexton and Love. All right, this is a fun team. Sexton Culver, Carmelo Anthony. Okay, Kevin Love, Cat, Portis, Redick, Tyreek Evans, um, Ayo Dosmunu. Um, kind of like the villain from Doctor Strange. Uh, so, game one, we do blow them out. Yeah, I'm not really too worried about this series. So, let's just advance this and hopefully go on to the finals as we're up 3-0 and we do beat the Timberwolves in five. So now we're taking on either the Nets or the Celtics. How are the Nets that good? Did they sign uh, Kyrie? Nah, they just kind of build up. Good for them. How's Nicholas Claxton doing? Not bad, not bad. So we're taking on the Boston Celtics who have Kyrie Irving, Jalen Brown, Tatum, Grant Williams. They brought back Al Horford and Kyrie. Uh, funny there. So let's, um, I guess just, yeah, start some of these games. Game one, we do beat them by 13 at home. They had a better fourth quarter than us, but we're chilling. Mo Bamba with a surprising 23-point performance. We were we're now up 2-0. We won by 20. John Morant with 24. Zion with 22. Moving on to game three, in which we do go up 3-0. This team is too good. So it's looking like we are going to win a chip. Go to the finals in both years. Win it in the second year and complete the challenge. Let's go. Um, can we sweep them? Come on, give me a close game, actually. 
uh all right kind of close kind of close let's get into this all right so i'm gonna hop in with just under two minutes to go tied at 107 apiece let's win this in four all right we're in the game i want to get the starters in so uh john moran's got 19 points five assists he's gonna be abusive in here oh and as i say that i turn it over is zion in he's in at center all right theo maladin is in at small forward this is not the rotation we want whatsoever uh do i want even bomba at center no let's get jackson hayes in uh, so I'm going to call a timeout real quick. All right, so here we go. Um, let's see what we could do. Oh my God, Aaron Gordon with this team would be so much fun. I was really hoping they were going to try to flip number four for Aaron Gordon. All right, uh, wait, Zion is currently guarded by Tatum. So let's just honestly post up here. Are we going to get double teamed? Uh, we are Aaron Gordon for three. Come on, Aaron Gordon, please. Yes, let's go. Perfect release. Bang. Uh, so now we are up by one. It's our first lead tonight. Wow. All right, so Kyrie did get fouled, and he is going to make both free throws. So that is going to give them a one-point lead. So Zion is kind of the mismatch guy here. We do have Jackson Hazen currently, though. Let's see. Get a screen here. Um... David Griffin did say he wants the most athletic big man ever. All right, Aaron Gordon, two for two. Oh, why did you move over to the side? Oh, beautiful pass to Alexander Walker, who I just subbed in for Brogdon. Beautiful find by Aaron Gordon. I really wish Aaron Gordon was playing. I don't know if I want it want to say a better situation in orlando but i definitely think he could be an all-star like this year honestly all right kick that up to john morant oh my god please all right john morant to the right and he posterizes Kyrie to give us a three-point lead all right so we're currently up by three. Oh god Kyrie, john morant with c plus or c perimeter d and he goes behind the back to al horford pretty sweet there all right so we're up by one here 47 seconds left uh i'm not really too worried let's get a pick and roll uh, I guess Aaron Gordon is the main pick and roll guy. All right, there we go. Easy money. Easy money. It's too easy. The John Moran pick and roll is just it's unstoppable. It's literally unstoppable. I'm very excited to see that with Jaron Jackson Jr. and Brandon Clark this year. Even a little bit of Valanciunas. I hope they bring him back, honestly. All right, Kyrie with the mid-range jumper. He misses that. We got a point forward in Aaron Gordon. Bring it up. Jackson Hayes rolls to the rock. All right, uh, can he shoot? He's got an F3. So that is a big no. Um, all right, so let's get a screen here from Hayes. This could be the dagger here. Uh, all right, there we go. John Morant to the rack. Easy money. Easy money. No. Oh, my God. All right, Jalen Brown for three, and it is no good. And the uh, New Orleans Pelicans are going to win the NBA Finals. Let's go. I'm just going to honestly get the ball here and chuck up a three all right guys so the new orleans pelicans do win it all and finals mvp is zion williamson so we win a title and we complete the 80 overall plus challenge so thank you all for watching i hope you guys did enjoy today's video let me know in the comments if you guys did enjoy this challenge or if you guys want to see different challenges um in upcoming videos but obviously i'm just going to be trying to do this and maybe new look teams i think on friday i got a new look bulls rebuild coming out uh and then once free agency starts we're going to be getting into that and then we're going to get into the 2020 or the 2k 20 rebuild so yeah that is good for me thank you all for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next video peace